are the QLS. All right, so what happened and what happened afterwards? Uh, June 21st, um, I got laid off from work for a couple days, so I put my dirt bike in the back of the truck, went up to Kingsville, Missouri, went uh, for a practice run, and uh, ended up crashing uh, the last lap of the last race. Um, I was wearing all my safety gear, doing it the right way, you know, not being an idiot, but unfortunately, even the safe way, I got hurt. Uh, foot peg destroyed my ankle, my heel, my uh, eight inches into my my tibia and fibia, and they tried to rebuild it, um, but they were unsuccessful. So, with all the metal in it, my body rejected it, unfortunately. So, um, Ju July 30th of last year, um, they took my leg um, with my consent, my family's consent, unfortunately. So. Um, I got out of the hospital a couple months later, um, $240,000 worth of hospital bills, um, a six month old child, our first baby girl, Lexi, my beautiful daughter. Um, the worst time, you know, there's no good time to lose a leg, but it was just the worst timing ever. So I got handed a baby, taken a leg and said, good luck because uh, my wife, Jesse was in, well still is, in nursing school in college. Uh, we came back to Kansas to, um, you know, step up her career and get us both the equal earners and eventually buy a home and maybe start my own business. But anyway, that was all cut short again with this. Um, and it's been a struggle ever since. I've been learning how to be a amputee uh, with this going to, back to construction. I'm a steel framer, a drywall uh, carpenter. Do steel framing, drywall, ceilings, which is hard enough on two legs, but uh, with one leg, it's really not been fun. But uh, anyway, so I hopped around for eight months with my baby and uh, learned how to be a father and learned how to live on one leg. And I received my leg about four months ago. Um, went back to work. But it's been a struggle. I haven't been able to really do it very good. Um, 20 hours, 10 hours, 30 hours. This last week was two hours. And uh, being the primary income for my family hasn't been a whole lot of fun trying to make that up. So um, long and the short, uh, my insurance carries me and my daughter. And um, I say wife, but my... Jesse and I aren't married yet, so uh, it's just me and my daughter that carries, but uh, long and short, because I hadn't worked in all that time that I've been in the hospital and going through surgeries with all, the, with all this fun, I, uh, I lost, I was going to lose my insurance, so I got a bill for three payments of about $640, and I made the first one barely, um, cutting a couple other bills short to make it happen, and uh, just bought power from Peter to pay Paul. And uh, just doing the best I, could, I can as a, as a father. And um, anyway, I, I got that done, and then the lady informed me there's two more, which I wasn't aware of, and I had no way to pay it. So um, I reached out to uh, the union, and they reached out to an organization, to you guys, to uh, Working Families Friends. And uh, you guys stepped in, and between you and a donation from Argosy Casino, uh, you know, you guys were able to save us for a month and a half of, of our premium for, for the insurance, which we had absolutely no way of, of coming up with. So, you know, we have apparently have some good karma and somebody looking out from, for us up above um, and awesome agencies like you guys who have stepped in and, uh, you know, even called after just to check in how we're doing and uh, how the baby's doing and it's just... It's been awesome. We wouldn't have been able to do it without you guys. It's been a um, financial and mental struggle. So, yeah, it's uh, it's been a huge help. What would have happened if you wouldn't have received that assistance? I would have lost my insurance and everything, every single part on this, which, for instance, this part from here up is $5,840, I think, dollars. I just had to replace um, my my daughter's medical, you know, and every time she goes in for a checkup, every time I have to get my pain medication, uh, my orthopedic uh, appointments, my 
and physical therapy, everything. I, you know, those, so that's 630, well, I, I should say uh, 1200 and thirteen hundred dollars uh, worth of uh, insurance premiums that got left unpaid would have stacked into ten or twenty thousand dollars worth of bills really fast um, you know because every part on this seems like it's five thousand dollars so um, yeah it made a huge difference it may seem like pocket changed most but it really helped us out a lot and how are you doing today a lot better uh, like I said, I lost last week or this week, so I've been doing the uh, stay-at-home Mr. Mom thing this week and wait for my daughter to get home right now. I'm excited, but uh, uh, being down, it's it's not fun, you know, not being able to do everything I want to do, but um, I'm just blessed again that at least the lights are on, our bills are paid, and I have a job to go back to. Again, um, I'd like to mention Ian Kay of Kansas City to my employer who has been they are just the best employer I could possibly ask for, so between the union and them. Um, but again, working families, friends, they've they've been there for us, um, and they were complete strangers up until about a month ago, and now, you know, they're like family, so. And how did you hear about Working Families Friend? Uh, through my union BA, Rocky. Um, he's a great guy, great mentor. He's been there uh, since, well, since I got back from California, actually, since I had two legs when I first got back, I had to transfer from the uh, Hollywood Union um, to the um, St. Louis, Missouri Gardeners Union. So he was the first BA I met, and really nice guy. And uh, I mean, this guy's even gone as far as to bring uh, canned goods and diapers and, and wipes and Christmas presents to us um, after everything happened right before the holidays with a lady from uh, uh, American American Income Life, which is the insurance agency for uh, our Carpenters Union, the life insurance agency for our Carpenters Union. So they brought some presents um, for my daughter, and yeah, it's we wouldn't have had Christmas without them. So again, it's. It's these blessings that have really carried us along the way, and we're just so happy that we had, again, good karma and uh, just just good friends and these surprise friends that have showed up out of the blue. What would you like to say to the organizations and all the individuals that donate to Working Families Friend? I'd like to say thank you a lot, and we wouldn't have been able to do it without you. Um, my daughter, myself, my wife, everybody's riding on this. And you came through and um, we didn't have any other options. So thank you and God bless.